I learned here once it's Alice, I'm off the stars. There's a piece of heavy equipment next door in the nature preserve and it's making a low growling sound. I don't know if you can hear it. And that sound, that background sound that's very low and dense is going to affect the quality of this transmission subliminally. Can you hear it now? Subliminally it's not going to feel elevated and uplifted not like a light work or transmission and that's because the quality of the background sound that's all around me right now. When I was young, very young, my mother used to take me and my sister Peggy to a, uh, a department store and she would shop in the department store locally. In the back was a section to sell children's shoes and in that section was a machine that a child could step up onto and slip their shoed feet into to see whether the shoes they were wearing were too small, whether they, their mother needed to purchase new shoes. And while our mother was shopping, we would go running to the x-ray machine, the shoe x-ray machine, and look at our feet in wonderment in the viewfinder above the x-ray machine. When our mother found out we were doing this, she was horrified. She told us to get off of the machine and never get on it again unless she told, her, told us to do that. She said she'd heard something about x-rays not being that safe. At that time, the use of x-ray machines to determine whether shoes fit was, was not banned. And some while later, my mother's prediction regarding the healthfulness of x-rays proved true and those shoe machines were banned forever from American markets, from American shoe sales places. Okay, so my mother knew something that nobody else knew. She knew that those machines were dangerous because they emitted x-rays that you couldn't see didn't mean that they were not dangerous. Okay, because low motor sounds are omnipresent in the present day life does not mean that they're not dangerous. They are dangerous. They pull our emotional bodies down into the, the hell worlds, into the negative worlds, from the heaven worlds where nature exists to the hell worlds. In the same way, Wi-Fi is currently approved and becoming stronger from 2.4 gigahertz, I think it is, to 5 gigahertz and who knows how much more. It's approved for use in American homes. In fact, Wi-Fi extenders are approved and people all around my neighborhood have bought them so that the Wi-Fi fields of, in my home are intermeshed with the Wi-Fi fields of all my neighbors. It's impossible to get away from them. They're considered to be a great good thing and a convenience. And they remind me very greatly of the x-ray machines for shoes in the department store. I swear as a pragmatic prophet, I swear to you that it will be found that Wi-Fi in the home causes mass insanity. And Wi-Fi will be banned globally. I ask you to be proactive, just as my mother was proactive, to be intuitive, just as the light workers are intuitive, to feel your body and to feel your mind and to think back to the time when there was no Wi-Fi and to realize the difference in your mind today. Do what you can to eliminate Wi-Fi from your home. This is a Pragmatic Prophet signing off. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. Mr. Raven says, walk, 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 and I say that too. Walk on away from those Wi-Fi's. Come and visit me at Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com. See you there.
Do you have something to say over there? What do you say? Walk, walk, walk. 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 Dudes, life is better in dudes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.